Okay, welcome to Mountain Pass. And uh, the quick 30 seconds for this map is going to be heavy tanks. I want to want to go either down here or around here. Uh, majority of the time you want to be down here because if you win down here, then you have to push all the way up through here and up a hill. And for the majority of heavy tanks, that's going to be a bit of an issue because there's plenty of points around here that the enemies can just stay and defend from. And you want to be a lot slower going up a hill rather than just kind of flat ground going around. Uh, medium tanks, you try and cross the bridge if you want to, although, you know, you've got to decide right at the start of the game whether or not you want to cross the bridge because it, this is a very aggressive push um, and you're going to find enemies that are sitting around here. Uh, same thing for this, if you're going to cross the bridge, um, I wouldn't really suggest it if you're going to push from this side, simply because there's TDs that are going to be sitting up here um, that can shoot across straight away as soon as you're pushing. And they can shoot you all the way up to around about, well, up from about here to all the way down here. So, yeah, it's not really worth it to try and push it from this side. Um, but if you want to try and push it from this side, then you can do because there is nothing else that can shoot you from the back. Um, it's only around this corner. And then, you know, if you win this bit, then you can then start flanking the enemy and trying to get shots in for anyone that's shooting across here. Uh, at the start of the game, you are going to be... Uh, spotted more than likely uh, by a light tank that's going to be sitting around about here or around here and just spotting any big slow heavy tanks that are going to come across here and vice versa the other side across there so that's the quick like 30 seconds of this map TDs on the other side you can kind of sit up there or there there's not really too many spots for you to sit on TDs for this side whereas there is for this side so it's a bit unbalanced in that sense uh, but yeah let's now get into all the spots Okay, so kicking it off as we always do with the light tanks. And um, so yeah, this side of the map does have a, a nice spot for the light tanks, whereas the other side mm, doesn't really. Um, the nice spot that I'm talking about is this bush over here. Um, just be careful if you are coming up here in an EBR because you could easily go over the edge. Um, but just this spot right here, you won't get spotted because you've got very nice bush to cover you from the only way that you are going to get spotted is if you obviously shoot or if the enemies come up and they get super close in proximity to you um, which they could do uh, but if you get in here nice and early you can see even with um, I've got fire extinguisher but I do have uh, improved optics um, you're still going to be able to spot people so if you have max view range um, for your what, you, what your max view range for your tank can do like you have 500 whatever like you're going to be easily be able to see anyone that's over there. Um, you should be tall enough. The only thing that I will say is, if you're in like a um, T100 LT, it might be a bit of an issue, just because you are you are quite small. So you might not spot them until about halfway. Um, unless it's, you know, a big big old heavy tank, like a Type 5 Heavy, then yeah, you'll probably spot him anyway. But if it's like a 277 that's crossing, then you probably won't spot him until about here. Um, just purely because there is a hill here, it does protect them a little bit. Um, but as soon as they get to about here, it's completely flat ground, so you can shoot across easy. Um, but yeah, get to here early on, and then your team should hopefully back you up. I mean, yeah. But they should do, if they want some free damage. Um, let's move on to the other side quickly. We're going to do it a little bit different this time, because I'm going to try and show the, the counter position straight away, rather than like doing one side of the map than the other if that makes a little bit more sense. Uh, so yeah, let's quickly switch sides. Okay, so from the other side of the map, pretty simple. You just go down here, and then we go into this bit here. Now, the reason, well, you'll soon see why the reason is that this side of the map is a little bit worse than the other side. Um, just simply because if you go up here, there's no bush for you to actually sit in. And as soon as you get to here, it's roughly the same time. In fact, it, it's probably quicker to get it from there to there than it is from there to there um, so you'll you'll either be able to spot the enemy at the same time um, if they are there but if they're in an EBR and you're in a slower tank you're not going to get there before them and there's there's a bush there and there's no bush here for you to sit in I mean you could try and sit in a, a bush for example like this one over here but then you're gonna have to get here very fast to be able to actually do anything and even from this position you're not really going to be able to spot a lot. Uh, just look at the view range um, indicators. So if they come all the way on the edge, you're not going to spot them. So you're only really spotting people that are over here. 
So you can't even really go to that bush. So you have to sit out in the open or you just don't spot anyone. Uh, so the only other alternative is, and you could do this on the other side, but it doesn't really make sense when that bush is there, is to try and actively scout and spot them from, you know, either proxy range or just as you're coming down the hill, you will spot some people. Um, you could easily do this in an EBR. You just go up, spot the bush, come back down. Um, even with that move there, you'll spot people that are sitting up here, um, up around there. Uh, but yeah, you don't want to overpeak this um, because you'll easily just get shot at. So yeah, I mean that's the only real, real, real thing you can do on this on this side is either sit there and you're not going to be in a bush, or you can go up there and try and get some active scouting done. Um, what you could do, you could go all the way up around um, to this position over here. But again, you're then wasting a lot of time and you're not really going to be able to spot anything. Um, just simply because if you go all the way up here, the only thing you're going to spot is anyone that's sitting around here. Which isn't going to be a lot considering that if they're going to go over that way, they're probably just going to hug this wall. So you're, you're again only going to spot the light tank. So it's pretty unbalanced to be fair for this side of the map, at least early on in the game. Um, compared to this side because, yeah, you could easily spot their light tank and they wouldn't spot you. Unless they want to go all the way up. So if you're in a faster light tank, like an EBR, I'd always recommend you go straight up into the middle uh, and then just proxy spot them. Uh, because as soon as you get that light tank out of the way, then you can actually allow your team to move across and you shouldn't get spotted for it. Uh, unless there is another vehicle that will do some spotting. Uh, but if you're going to go all the way up to the proxy spotting range, then more than likely you're going to spot whoever else is going to be there. So, you know, it, just try and actively spot. If you want to try and sit on the edge and chance your luck, then go for it. And that's pretty much it for the light tanks. So, there's not really too much that a light tank can do on this map, apart from go there. Um, once your spotting has been done, you can then move on to try and assist your team in any way that you can. Um, bit like with other maps, the role of the light tank on this map is going to be support. Um, as soon as you get your spotting done at the start, just try and back off. Um, especially if you get spotted, just get out there. Um, but if you don't see any more people then you can try and actively spot and get up a little bit closer or you could go down here try and spot some people over there and just trying to be a nuisance for the enemy team um, and just try and do some extra damage as and when you can to try and help out your team uh, just because there isn't too much to do with a light tank later on in the game apart from be that kind of very fast deadly damage dealer um, which light tanks can be very very good at later on in the game uh, so yeah Let's move on to medium tanks now. Okay, so for the medium tanks, uh, we're going to go starting off just into what positions you can actually get into to shoot across. Because at the start of the game, this is where you're going to get damage at right at the very start. Um, and then we're going to talk about this position here and this position over here. Um, of course, we're going to show exactly the same for the other side uh, as we do it. But the first position that I'll show you is just around here. You can actually knock these trees down to try and give yourself some extra cover. So what you can do is knock this down like this, and then if you knock this one across so that it kind of falls into this bush, like so, uh, falling down trees do give you extra cover. So what you can do is then just sit into these and you should be okay to shoot across. Um, because if you see the view range, as long as you have some camo, you shouldn't be spotted by the light tank. Um, Simply because he's going to have to have a lot of view range to be able to spot you. Um, we're talking like nearly 600 meters. Um, especially in, if if I shot now and there was an EBR 105, he would not spot me. If there was an EBR 105 right in that bush that I showed you, it's not even a bush, um, right there, he wouldn't spot me. So I could shoot him for free, he wouldn't do anything. Because um, he would have to get a lot closer than he already is. Um, and also from this position, you can shoot right across. You've got no issues of being spotted. Um, so yeah, this spot's very nice. Uh, just knock down these trees at the start. You don't even really need to knock this one down. You just knock this one as you're coming across. And then you can go from there. Or alternatively, is this spot here, which you can get... Well, you you shouldn't be spotted at all when you fire. Um, just get behind this bush here. And then as soon as they, they get spotted, shoot them. Um, if you want to be able to see a little bit more, there you go. Um, but... 
it's just in that line you just pull back make sure the bush is solid shoot through so yeah that's uh, basically all the spots over here um, there are others you could just you know just sit in the open if you really want to um, but you know <laughs> just be warned that if you shoot then you're probably gonna get spotted because you know you don't have any bushes to cover you from uh, but yeah, let's now move on to the other side quickly and show you some spots that you can sit in to shoot across to them from this side. Okay, so over this side of the map, you can go to the very back um, and just go hold down. I mean, it's a very valid option to do if you have some uh, turret armor. I mean, the Progetto doesn't, but uh, if you do have some turret armor, then you could do that. Um, but what I would just re recommend you do is just always hug this wall always hug this um, or this cliff face um, at all times um, as you can see you can go hold down here and just shoot across into that bush that I showed you um, so always just hug this wall and just get across as fast as you can I wouldn't necessarily sit here just because you there is no real cover um, and that's a big issue again with a balancing issue with this map is there's a lot of things for this side of the map where you have lots of cover here but not really much over here so yeah it's i mean it does kind of balance it out when you you talk about down here in a second with heavy tanks but overall this side of the map is weaker than this side um so yeah uh, let's now talk about down here because there's not really much else to show you here it's just make sure you try and get through as fast as possible uh, or you can try and go hold down if you do have a a good turret so yeah let's quickly talk about this okay so just for fun i'm gonna demonstrate just how bad this side of the map is for getting to this position um as you can see i'm in probably the worst position that you could spawn at uh, for trying to go to the middle of the map um but we're gonna i'm gonna basically just time lapse myself running all the way through to here the end of the bridge is when i'll you know stop the timer so we'll make a note of when it hits whatever it is and then we'll see what time it is when i hit the end of the bridge um and then i'll also show a time lapse of myself running from this side of the map all the way to the end of this bridge and we'll see how long it takes that um and as you can see it doesn't take the tds very long to get up to this position here so but by the time that i get to here the TDs are going to be in position and by the time that you get to around about here the TDs are going to be in position so th that's why I kind of want to really emphasize this of just how long it takes to get across this and why it's not worth it to try and go across the bridge if you spawn this side of the map uh, so yeah quickly do a time lapse starting from So as you can see, there's a big difference between the two spawns. Bear in mind that these were the worst spawns possible um, for both sides, and this still got there miles ahead. Like, if I had got this spawn, I would have got there in, well, it took 34 seconds for the north spawn to get there, and it took 50 seconds for the south spawn to get there. So I could easily shave off another five seconds just from here because I don't have to turn around, I don't have to do anything like that, I can just go straight there. Um, and as you can see from the two uh, videos, by the time that I got to about here, um, they had just come around the corner or were around about here. So, you know, if they see someone that's going to come across there and, you know, you're in a platoon, by the time that you get to here, they're not going to peek that. And not bearing in mind that there's going to be TD sitting up here watching over this. What's the point of going across this side? So there's really no point of trying to cross this um, from this side of the map, even if you get the best spawn possible you're still going to only get about halfway across the bridge or even maybe you get across the bridge but then once you get across you're then stuck because even if you destroy everyone here you're then going to be shot by the TDs as soon as you come out so that's why get the best spawn for this which is I think you can get the spawn about here so it's going to shave off maybe like 10 seconds of your time so you could easily get across the bridge straight away and cause havoc for anyone that's around here you don't even have to shoot anyone you could just spot for the td that's going to be sitting at the back here so that's why it's super important to not try and you know do this do not try and cross the bridge if you're on this side of the map it's not worth it by all means if you're on this side go for it 
uh, because there's not really too many issues that can occur apart from down here which is what we're going to talk about now so over this side of the map you can go straight across and hold this position at this rock here uh, over the other side of the map you can go down here and around here now this is where the issues occur if you want to try and cross this bit of the map if you have a very very fast medium tank that goes down here even heavy tanks can go down here but eh, it's debatable whether or not you want to um, if you get a bad spawn for example if you spawn down here you might as well just go for it because you're going to be too slow and by the time that you get to here you're going to be spotted dead probably uh, at least you're going to take a lot of health uh, whereas if you go down here you can actually probably do something uh, but this is the spot that I was talking about. Around here, you can have very, very defensive cover from this ridge line. Um, now, over the other side, uh, there are a few spots. There's rocks and stuff, but I'll show you that in a second. Um, but there's not as many defensive locations as there is on this side. Like, you don't really have to do a lot here. You can just go hold down and just laugh at the enemy like if you're in an stb1 here or a chieftain i mean i wouldn't advise a chieftain going here like you could easily go and cross the bridge in the chieftain and then it's game over for them um because platoon of chieftains going straight across here yeah good luck with that um but you can you can hold this very well and the, the problem being is this spot down here is kind of important if you win down here uh, and you can allow your tanks to sit here quite comfortably then you win the bridge now even more so no one's gonna even more so than if you just went across it straight away um because no one's gonna want to cross this bridge with someone down here because they know they're gonna get shot at straight away so if you win down here then you can win the bridge even though that pretty much you've won the bridge already on this side of the map just for having a few tds or people sitting up here um and even if you're in a platoon with, say, a light tank and a TD, or a medium tank and a TD, you could have your teammate go up here, and then you try and spot for them. You don't have to go all the way, you just have to spot. Uh, and then you can get loads of assistance damage, and your TD can just mop up anything that's there. But if you're down here, then you can shoot up here, up here, it doesn't matter. Like, there's loads of positions to shoot from. And as long as you win this, you're fine. Um, so yeah, it's really unbalanced to be fair this map from this the north spawn uh, compared to the south spawn down here uh, As you can see there's plenty of spots to just kind of go to if you're in a uh, Say a heavy tank and you want to go a bit closer um, But the only real defensive position that you can go to for the other side uh, is behind these rocks here um, As you can see you can go kind of side scrape a little bit, but you don't really have anywhere to defend from unless you go all the way around the corner and up on that hill which is where you spawn um so it's kind of uh, yeah like what what are you really meant to do on the on this side like it's possible to win and i've won on this side before um but it's not really in the favor for the map design to win from this side because they have the high ground you have the low ground you have to go up a massive hill they don't really have to do anything and sure you could go and camp but you're basically allowing the enemy to just take control of the entire middle of the map at that stage if that makes sense so it's not really worth it to just let them through because like even if you just camped here like yeah it doesn't really work whereas if you were to camp here you could easily take shots on people down here without any issues so yeah, from this point you can control the bridge, and from this point you control the bridge. So the bridge, it's just out of the question for this side. There's no point going across the bridge. You can go to here to try and get some damage on anyone that's trying to cross the bridge. Uh, and I'll show you that in the TDs uh, later on. Uh, but let's now move on to the heavy tanks because that's pretty much it for this side and the medium tanks. Um, so yeah, you kind of seen everything that the map can offer for the mediums. Uh, and TDs and heavies, they can go around here, but, you know, just, just play how you want to play. Uh, but yeah, let's, let's move on to the heavy tanks now. Okay, so time for the heavy tanks. And, uh, yeah, we're going straight down here. As, I mean, you can go over here, but most of the heavy tanks should just go down here. Um, this side is actually, uh, well, to be fair... The more defensive positions for, the, uh, for this bit of the map 
are actually on, in favour for this side. Now, a lot of you might be saying, eh, well, I mean, actually, they have this little bit here, and they got this bit here. Yeah, but they have this rock here, and this rock here, and there's plenty of rocks and little mounds over this side where they can hide behind to actually get shots on people that are around here. So, in my opinion, it's a lot better for this side of the map than it is for this. I mean, having said that, it's not really very good for once they win this side because there's just an open bit of ground and loads and loads of positions for people to sit in. But for this bit down here, it's preferential for this side here. So, this side here, um, yeah, there's not really too much you can do. I mean, you can go and just try and peek up here to get uh, a few like spots early on, uh, but then I would back off straight away. Uh, if your team doesn't want to push this, which a lot, for some reason a lot of people don't, um, or they just don't send enough people down here, then you can retreat back to this little spot here, which we were just, which we went past, um, and just sit there. Um, just sit there, wait for them to push. Uh, if they don't want to push, which is quite rare, I mean, if you're patient enough and just sit there, they will push. Eventually, they will push, and they'll make the mistake of pushing, and as soon as they push, they'll die, because they, you have loads and loads of spots over here where you can get shots down onto this position here. Um, whereas they have nothing, really. Um, they they just sit here with a little bit of cover there and a little bit of cover there, and then they just die because as soon as they try and push up, it's open ground. Uh, so that's why it's you know it's quite hard to push from this side. Having said that, if you've killed everyone and you're on this side of the map, um, then uh, you should just probably back off and go through the middle or something because there's not really too much of a point to go through there. Um, but yeah, down for here, um, again, you can try and get down here, but as soon as you go down like this, you'll probably get spotted by anyone sitting over there. Uh, not to mention anyone sitting at this rock here, and this rock there, and lots of people like to sit around on this corner, so it's quite hard to actually push out from here. If you want to try and push, you're going to have to be aggressive, and be aggressive early on in the game, because the more that you sit there, the more chance that you're just going to die. Um, you can get to this rock right here and you're you're in pretty solid cover. Um, you can then use this rock to your advantage and just try and peek out, shoot this, shoot that. Obviously you can side scrape and stuff like that. And if you're in a tall tank, just beware that if they go up on this hill, they can shoot down on you. So just keep that in mind. Um, but you can even, uh, if you do have gun depression, shoot across to there. Uh, obviously I'm in a 277, so it doesn't really have very much gun depression at all. but uh, you can then move across, but as I'm saying, look how many like little mounds and hills there are um, for this uh, this south side of the map to actually sit behind. Like you can happily sit behind uh, this rock here or this rock here, and I mean to be honest, if you're if you want to try and go around here and like this, just sit here. Like if you sit like this, that just stopped their push entirely. Like, there's n there is no way someone would push this, knowing that someone's sitting here. Um, there's no point. Uh, and even if you get here late, you could still get to this position. As long as you have people sitting on this bit, and over here, then you can push into this spot, no problem. Winning this side of the map for heavy tanks is a bit interesting, because obviously I've already sated all of this, and this. So, just kind of see how it goes. You want to need a few medium tanks as well. Um, for down here because uh, if you can get some medium tanks up on this hill then they can shoot across um, and also obviously early on in the game if, if you get a medium tank or two uh, just a spot uh, for anyone that's actually pushing through you can actually get to uh, on this corner here if you get here really early you'll be able to spot anyone that's trying to push through uh, and if you're spotted no one's going to push through that um, if you're in a platoon of three then you know, maybe try and push through that, but honestly, just it, this this uh, this bit of the map is quite interesting to play, and you're going to have to be patient to be able to play it well, um, or you'd be really aggressive and just hope for the best, uh, because if you play ultra aggressive, then you can catch your your enemy team out, and then they won't push because as soon as they push this and they overrun this side of the bit it's kind of game over like if they own this side and you own uh 
sorry, if the south side owns this, this little bit here where I am, and they own this, it's nearly impossible to push out from from if you're over on the north side. Um, so yeah, it's not very balanced, not very fun um, for heavy tanks, and either aggressive or you really play passively and just wait for the enemy to make a mistake. Um, so yeah, that's basically how to play this side of the map. If you have a different way of playing them, playing it, then by all means, let me know. Or if you think I've missed out something, then let me know. Um, as I've stated many, many times, this is just to try and get the new player to, or the returning player, just to know a few spots, just where to go uh, in the map. It's not for the advanced player or, you know, anything like that. This is just for new players, just to get back into it. Um, or returning players to get back into it on new players. Um, so yeah, it's not really for like, you know, you borderline unicums to suddenly become a unicum, you know, um, or something like that. Uh, so yeah, let's now move on to TDs because this is going to be really quick for the TDs. Uh, so yeah, let's move on to them. Okay, and finally time for the TDs. Uh, now this is going to be very quick because there's only a select few spots that you can go to. You could go over here um, and the other spot is up here. That's basically all you need to do. Uh, I mean, you can go here at the start of the game and go into that bush that I showed you, or any one of these bushes that I showed you. Um, but for the majority of people, I would tell them to go up here because one, you can snipe anyone that's trying to get into the middle of the map. And from this position here, you can shoot across onto that bit there. Uh, as you can see, that's the main road that everyone comes down and you can shoot even into that little corner bit down there where I will show you on the other side. Uh, so yeah, this is basically the only place that you should really go. Um, you can go again up there, try and support, or you can go into there. So they're the only real places you should go. I'm not gonna make anything longer than this because that's just how it is. Uh, let's move on to the other side of the map. Okay, so the other side of the map, uh, say hello to little Peyton Noob there. Um, you can go up here and I mean, there's no point going up here at the start of the game. Uh, instead, I would show you the I'll show you that next spot. Um, I'll show you that spot next. But in the later games, honestly, just go up here and camp. Like, if you're losing the game, but only when you really know that you're losing. So, like, if you've lost this, if you've lost the middle, you have no more light tanks, and everyone else is retreating, pull back to here, get up onto this hill and you can do some serious damage later on in the game. Um, again, no, you need to know when you are going to lose the game and not just pull back straight away as soon as you see like one tank die. Because um, yeah, no one, no one wants that. Uh, but you've got some nice spots to anyone that's trying to push through this bit or even this bit. As you can see, you could aim all the way down. Uh, obviously, I'm in the uh, S1, so it can have insane gun depression, but any TD will do really um, and from here you can also go to the other side which is over here and shoot down on anyone that's trying to push up through the valley um, important to note that you will not be able to shoot down on anyone unless you go all the way over the edge uh, or you're in a tank like the S1 um, so keep that in mind so if they're really up close it's not worth it to peek all the way over um, because you're going to probably get shot and especially if you get tracked then um, it's almost game over for you at that point. Uh, this spot is really nice for anyone pushing up. Uh, you shouldn't get spotted because there's a good bush there uh, and you can even go back a little bit further and get double bushed if you really want to but you are going to have to have more gun depression to do that. Um, so yeah, this spot's very nice for if you've lost this side then you can go up to here, shoot anyone, you can even spot anyone that's trying to push up. Uh, but yeah, a very nice position for defensive, uh, for pushing up to here. And of course, you can then use this position right here if they are, if this is like the last stand, last resort kind of thing, and they're pushing the way up the hill. Um, but yeah, that's basically everything for this spot. I'm now going to show you the last spot, which is what I would recommend you go to at the start of the game um, if you don't want to snipe across early on. Okay, so the last spot that I'm going to show you is in that little dip down here. Um, if you're in something like a tortoise, a badger, something with very, very strong uh, frontal armor, uh, 268 version 4, 
Uh, even an STLV, you know, S1 doesn't really matter. Um, get into this position because you can cause a lot of damage and also shoot back at the TDs if they get spotted. Um, as you can see, up there is where the TDs will be. You see how that goes like that and that's a little bush that we saw uh, over the other side. But you can go all the way into here and just shoot across anyone that's trying to push through. Um, you can get here as we've already shown if you have a very good spawn you can get here and they should just be crossing the bridge as you get here so you might be able to you know do something um what i would suggest you do if they're crossing the bridge just go for the track straight away don't try and do damage just try and get that tracking shot off because then they've used the repair kit and it will make them um be they have less chance of surviving and if you then track them again they're perma tracked even better, if they're in a really fast tra uh, tank and you track them, they might fall off the bridge. So always go for the tracking shot if they're on the bridge because it will really, really annoy them and you'll stand a much better chance of survival. Uh, what you can do is actually back off a little bit um, and go like this and then you're showing not as much to the uh, enemy TD so they don't have much of more of a shot to shoot at. Um, so yeah. Play this how you want to. Uh, if you get overrun, you need to quickly just back off out of there. Uh, you should have enough time. Uh, you will not get shot, as you can see, um, because, yep, there's no way for them to shoot over here unless they've pushed all the way up. Um, and you should be able to back off pretty easily. Um, but it's just it's just knowing and you'll learn over time of like when to move, when to not move, you know. Uh, so yeah, that's Mountain Pass. If you did enjoy this video or at least found it useful, then make sure to give the video a like, sub, come and join the Discord because we have, I think we hit 50 members the other day. Um, so yeah, it's, it's kind of mental. Um, come and join the Discord. There's always people online that would uh, happily help you out with any questions whatsoever. I'm always online. Um, so yeah, stay safe, wash your hands. I'll see you in a bit.